Okay, I think I'm recording. Focus, damn you. It's hard to see over this stupid view or a uh, camera stand because I'm so short. I'm not even five feet tall. It's sad. But anyway, today we are making an oldie but goodie meatloaf. As you can see, I have one pound of dead bread and corn fed in my bowl. I got this ground beef container, tube, whatever you call it, Aldi, for like about $2.99. If you want to use turkey, this works really well with turkey. Just swap out the meat and it'll be cheaper to make. It'll be $1.69. And I like making meatloaf sometimes because it's cheap. Sometimes I'm in the mood to do beef, other times turkey. Just make sure your beef is on the leaner side. But if you make this with turkey, it'll turn out cheaper. But maybe you want to reduce the amount of breadcrumb you use because it might affect its moisture. Maybe instead of one cup of breadcrumb, I would use maybe like maybe three fourths or just a little bit more onion, just something so it won't lose the moisture. But it's really easy. You have your one pound of ground beef and you have your one pound of breadcrumb. And if you don't like using regular store-bought breadcrumb, you can easily just, you know, take some gluten-free bread, Ezekiel bread, and you can either, t you know, tear, toast it and tear it really fine by hand or run it through a blender, as long as it equals up to one cup. And then we're gonna add one fourth of a cup of onion, if I can get it in there. And I forgot to grab the milk. Even when I think I have everything together, this is proof positive I still don't have my life together. I'm right about half a cup of milk. It's to moisten the breadcrumb. And I guess you can use soy milk. This is just normal milk or lactose free milk. It's, you know, not like a set in stone recipe. So if you want to use a better milk alternative, soy milk should work fine. It's mostly to just, you know, moisten the breadcrumbs and just give it moisture. Two eggs lightly beaten. There's no egg substitute for this. It's meatloaf. You've already are too far gone if you're making a meat-based recipe. But if you want to make a turkey loaf, the healthier alternative and cheaper, there's many, it's very versatile. You can use this with turkey, Ezekiel breadcrumb, gluten-free bread crumbs that you just make yourself. You can use almond or coconut milk, as long as the measurements are the same. So you have one fourth a cup of onion, one pound of your ground beef, one cup of breadcrumbs, two eggs lightly beaten, salt and pepper to taste, how delicious that looks already. And to make it quote fancy, just a little bit of mustard, like a little blip. And make sure your hands are clean and we're just gonna work it all in. Mm -hmm. mm. It's important to add the milk, it adds moisture. Da, 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 da. I learn it the hard way. I get like a weird dry meat well. But the milk does give it something. If you don't want to add milk, don't and just see how it turns out. But just mix it enough. Mm -hmm. Look how gross you look. Mm -hmm. Just make sure it's all incorporated evenly. Maybe just add a tiny bit more pepper. Add the stuff to your taste, and it's not, this stuff's not set, like, you know, you want really salty for all I care. Yeah, I don't run your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look how simple this was. And if you're using turkey, you spray your pan first. Um, this will probably not need it, but just maybe a light, just in case. Very, very light. But with the turkey, it's not going to generate its own, you know, fat. So you're probably going to have to use a cooking spray or it will stick to the pan. And we're just going to 
add all of this into our loaf pan. Yummy. It smells good. It smells like onion and mustard and meat. We're just going to press it in. I'm not baking this now because I'm making this ahead of time because I'm out doing stuff tomorrow with my boyfriend and whatnot. So I'm going to wrap this for overnight. But what you want to do, you can easily double the recipe and I'll fill it up, but this is, this isn't, you know, it's a feed a family of four. So you're, yeah, you know, it's something to do with a tube of ground turkey or beef. There you go. What you want to do is you want to preheat your oven to 350, cook it about 40 minutes covered, and after 40 minutes, take it out. And if you want to, add some, about a fourth of a cup of ketchup on top, you know, make it fancy and cook it for another 15, 20 minutes. If you don't like ketchup or if you just want to add tomato sauce, that's fine too. You know, add your, some homemade marinara. It's yours. Make it fancy. If you just like a really dry meatloaf, just cook it for an hour on 350. And look, that's how easy it was. It took me like three minutes to cut up about a fourth of a cup of onion. And what I like doing is I like, I got a big ass bag of brown rice. I guess you got this at Dollar Tree. So this was like a dollar. So you can put it in your rice cooker, cook it to your directions. Sweet potatoes are also cheap. Wash them, pierce them with the fork and wrap them in foil and throw them in with your uh, meatloaf. Not like in it, you know what I mean, shut up. Quinoa, quinoa they sell it all in, they sell it really cheap or couscous. They sell the big bags of quinoa. You can get two or three servings out of it. And all of those are cheap sides, so my meatloaf costs me like literally about four bucks to make and then a side that's like, you know, five. And if you want to add it, whatever vegetable, you know, frozen, canned if you want to, like kind of steer away from that. But frozen veggies usually are pretty cheap. And I like to divvy them out. Never make a whole bag of frozen vegetables because your family's not going to need a giant ass bag of corn. If in order to save money, if you use frozen, bake what you know they're going to eat. And usually you can get two or three servings out of it. Or you can be unconventional. I usually get cheap uh, veggies at Aldi, like the mushrooms, the baby carrots, the celery, a green pepper, and just cut them up and make them into like a crudite on your plate, and you can have raw veggies. Why does the veggies have to be cooked? They're more nutritious, and you know, it, it just seems fresher. Sometimes I just cut up celery sticks and carrot sticks and mushrooms, and I put it all like in a row on a little serving tray, and you have nice, nice crisp raw veggies. But, you know, not original, but a cheap dinner idea. Make it with turkey even cheaper. That's a way to stretch your dollar. And thank you for the 93 people who subscribed to me. I'm almost at the official 100 mark. If you want to keep seeing poorly demonstrated videos that are just awkwardly narrated by my ADHD self, you know, I, I already lost my train of thought. But if you... If you want to keep seeing this goodness, like, subscribe, comment on what you'd like to see, share. You know, I kind of care, but I don't care what you do. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.